picture of the fields because I come from farm workers. My mom, is, she works in the farm and agriculture and actually in the lettuce. My dad was also a farm worker. He got deported when I was 15 years old. So now my mom had to raise as a single young mother, not having anywhere to go. So that's why I chose Harnell College. Um, so that is my mom right there. She actually works, like I said, in the fields. I have a brother, which is a senior at North Salinas High School. He's a football player. Um, he's in the varsity team. And I have a sister who influenced me to become a computer scientist. She actually, I was actually heading towards nursing. I really didn't come to my mind to become a computer scientist, but she noticed that at a very young age, I would take computers and put them apart. So she's like, why don't you just try out for computers if you like it so much? And I say, I don't know if computer science is really for girls. It's more like for a guy. And she says, no, you could try anything you like. Why don't you just try it out? Maybe you'll be the first girl. So I started doing some research, and I noticed there's very, very smart girls out there that do computer science. And so I said, I'll try it out. So that's where I'm at computer science right now. My hobbies, soccer. I pitched, played, I've been playing soccer since I was five. I just recently, when I turned 22, I stopped playing. I'm 24 right now. So two years I haven't been playing, I tore the meniscus on my right knee, and that's what got me not to pretty much get me out of my sport. Just like it says there, I like to score high goals. I love traveling. I like, I travel a lot. So I've been to, um, to Jerusalem, Israel, um, I've been to Brazil and most common Mexico go a lot. And I also love to cook. My education, I graduated in sixth grade from Lincoln Elementary School in 2000. Later, uh, for my eighth grade, I graduated from Washington Middle School in 2002. From Salinas High in 2006. And I'm at Hornell. And I'll be graduating in the spring. So I'm still there right now. My next step is to head to CSUMB, and I'm working on that right now. My major. So I like to fix computers when they feel sick. I like science. Um, network. I like to see who is in the network. There's um, bad people out there as well as there's good people. There's, like you guess, in the in the computers you store data. Nowadays everything, all the data is stored through computers. When you go to the hospital, you check in, it's in a computer. You have a bank account, it's in a computer. So there's people out there for everything that you need a user and password that are trying to hack and they get into to get your um, information, personal information. Like withdraw all the amount you have in your bank or um, go through all your social security, steal your identity and do bad stuff that they're not supposed to. And then when you grow up and you want to do something, you can't because that people stole your identity and now you can't do anything. So for computer science, um, I did an internship, an internship. It's uh, pretty much instead of you paying for somebody to teach you, they pay you to learn. So what I did this summer, it was in um, June 5th, which is every 100 years, you could track Venus. So my mentor, which is up here on the right of me, um, Dr. Amala Saraja, which works at the MPS, she told us, which is me and my coworkers up there, that um, if we wanted to track Venus, and it was, and I said, how are we gonna track Venus? That's so difficult and far away for us to track. She says, no, just grab a lens of a camera, or a microscope and put a piece of white paper in the ground, put the lens towards the sun, and you can see it reflect on a piece of paper in the ground. That's all you have to do. And as you can see, Venus is a little black dot, and the round side is the sun. What I did over the summer. My job was to create a website that gives information to the military students, um, the idea of, there we have, there's this um, den that is, they call it the Moose Den. 
they store different devices there. They have from haptic devices, which means the haptic you could touch, you feel. And, um, so that's what I have on the picture up there on the right. Um, they, that haptic device, it's mostly used for surgical purposes. Um, they train. You could actually feel with that little ball there, you feel the movement of whatever the picture that mentions in the, in the screen of your computer. Um, so, I mean, it's way cheaper for them to train in a computer than an actual person because I wouldn't like a doctor training on me cut you open and says, whoops, oh my gosh, I just ripped something or torn something, now you're dead. No, I don't want that. So that's why they train there. On that one, the military, when they're in training on campus or at base, they wear what I have up in my head, which is a collie goggle. Um, I have the virtual device called the goggle. And what that allows you to do is to see the map in your eye without you, for you to have your free hands at all times. Because what if an enemy comes up to you and just does something that he doesn't supposed to, then you can't really defend yourself because you have, your hand is holding something else, maybe a computer or something, and maybe that would be two of your hands, not really one. So what happened to the weapon? It's where, I don't know, hanging. So that allows you to have multitask pretty much. Some obstacles that I have to come to were, I was confused. I really didn't know what I really wanted to do. Um, so I have different choices. Now, my parents would travel back and forth within Yuma, Arizona, here, and Mexico. So pretty much I was balancing and wobbling what I had to do, what school I was gonna go to next. Luckily, I would come and go to the same school that would allow me to graduate, which is not impossible. If you wobble within school, try your best, it is harder for you to do it, but it's not impossible. You could always do it. So that was my confusion of what school to go to next. That's what allowed me also to go to Harnell. Um, I had to support pretty much help my mom and my brother because he was at the time, he was only seven years old. My mom was in the fields and so I was like, so who, I had to take care of my brother because my mom didn't have enough money to pay for a childcare or anything. So I had to come home and do everything. I really didn't have much time to myself as I would love to, but I thank God for the person where I am right now and to my parents. That's why um, I chose that route or else I would have been somewhere. You all have to make your own choices. Try to make the best choices as can. I have the track to be a gang member and everything. I have cousins. I have three cousins now that got shot. They're, two of them are dead, one is in a wheelchair. They made the bad choices and they're only 17 years old. So you have to set your own goals. Nothing's impossible in this life. Time. I didn't have much time for me to study. I had to babysit pretty much my brother and cousins and stuff since I was the oldest one at the time. Um, and I was like, so nobody went to school, why should I go to school? So I was like, no, I don't want to be just a oh, stay home pretty much, not to say a loser and not do anything out of my life. I want to be somebody. And I was like, why not be the first one to start and go to college? I mean, somebody has to start somewhere. So I said, I'll go for it. Money, we didn't have money. There was no money at home. There are so many scholarships out there. There's so many people that would help and take the time of them. Their time is valuable. Whenever you have an instructor, a mentor, a teacher or somebody, just grab them, get all the information as you want, as you can. If you don't get no more information on it, just talk, get the next one. Keep getting instructors, instructors, get all the information you need Fill as many applications, yes, you're gonna fill a lot of paperwork, you're gonna do a lot of resumes, you're gonna do a lot of essays, but at the long run, it's gonna pay off. I was scared to go back to school. I said, I haven't been to school because I stopped going to college when I was with the nursing and computer science. I stopped going to school for two years. Two years, I didn't do anything. I used to work at Jack in the Box. I said, this is not a life. I would work from 10 p.m. at night, six in the morning, and I said, this is not a life. I have to do something out of myself. So I have, that's why I came back to school and started. Now this is my semester, my year, and I'm already transferring to CSUMB in the fall. Motivations. Having faith in yourself. 
your family, which will always, always, always be, even if you think that they're not supporting, they're always supporting you. My sister would push me every single day. I would hear her say, go back to school, go back to school. And I would say, no, I don't want to go back to school. It's too late already. It's never too late for you to go back to school. Yeah, there's going to be times when you don't have money and you're going to have to stop going to school and go to work. Well, that's what happened to me. And then I said, I got too lazy. I started seeing money and I was like, nah, I'm just going to stay here. So I was like, no. And then my mom's like, no, you got to go back to school. And my sister, every single day, she's a nurse. So she will be here every single day. Some advice I would give to you. Set goals. Set very high goals. There's all the goals. I mean, you're going to have time where you're like, no, I can't reach it. Yeah, you can. Everybody can reach your goals. That's what I would say all the time. I oh, can't get that high. No, I can't. And then she said, no, my sister will always tell me, yes, you can. Don't ever put yourself down and say, no, you can't. You always can. Ask questions. Who, what, when, where, why, why do I have to do that? Where, where do I get all the information? You always have to look for advice everywhere you go. You could get any instructor, counselor, or anything like that. Communication, have a lot of communication with your instructors, your teachers, so that you can be better in life. Be organized, take good notes. Um, one of my strategies was to write my notes. When I would go to class, I would take good notes, try to take good notes. When I would go home, go over the notes again, rewrite them if I had to. I, have, I would Google everything. Google's your friend. Trust me, Google's your friend. If you don't know anything and somebody doesn't know, don't just say, oh, I'm, I don't know. That's why the, the net is around. The internet gives you everything. There's bad stuff too. There's good stuff. So try to go for the best. And um, um, So be organized at all times. 